Okay, welcome back. In the previous video, we did much of the sculpting for our little hippo here, but there's a couple areas, namely the eyes, that I feel just aren't quite there yet. Uh, in particular, when we compare with our reference, you know, the, the eyes on the character right now feel very kind of sinister and grouchy and just are not giving the, the kind of cute, innocent feeling that I would like in our hippo and that is portrayed in the reference here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to a little drastic. I'm going to switch back into sculpt mode. I'm going to then go down one level in my sculpt. I'm going to bring up my smooth brush by just hitting S and then I'm just going to smooth all of this away. I'm just going to redo this portion of the sculpt. I don't mind this portion. This portion fine is fine. You know, the majority of the expression in the eyes is all done within this area. And so that's really the area that we want to focus on in this case. Just get my grease pencil up there so I can use it. Okay, so a couple of things that I'm going to do. For one, I'm going to switch back to my grab brush now. I'm going to go into a smooth curve here. And then I'm just going to pull this up just a little bit such that this has more of a rounded shape rather than a kind of, you know, diagonal line shape, which the just the straight line will give a much more sinister look. Uh, it's not going to give the, um, the kind of friendly, uh, you know, innocent look that we want in this case. And there we go. And also the, the majority of the eye expression is also from the top lid and the angle of the eye, not so much the bottom lid. The, you know, the bottom lid obviously does add to it, of course, and can help kind of accent expressions and such, but the majority of the expression is perceived from the, the top eyelid. Okay, I'll pull this up even a bit more, which maybe then I can pull the back down a little. And already, you know, it starts to feel a good bit better, but let's now go in, I'm gonna bring my smooth brush back and just smooth it up a little bit more. The reason that I'm not just holding down shift and smoothing is because I wanna have uh, access to the direct strength of the smooth rather than just whatever the strength of my current brush is. Uh, now let's switch over to the inflate brush. I'm just going to inflate the eyelids just a little to get a little bit more volume to them. And then I'm going to smooth the brow a little bit more. And then I want to just kind of get the brow shape much more of what I think it should be. And that's much more something like, like this rather than the previous this that we had. Okay, and already I think that that's looking or feeling a lot better. Uh, I want to keep going at it though. I might push using the inflate brush while holding down control. I'm just going to draw in on the inside of the eye a little bit, just to get a little bit more volume or subtract a little bit more volume from that. Okay, and that's feeling a good bit better. Now let's go ahead and use our crease brush now. So shift C and I will just draw in a couple of creases kind of in the opposite direction from the eye. And what that'll do is again, kind of accent these lines going up like this to again, give more the impression of a softer expression than the really harsh expression that we previously had. Just accenting these creases a bit more, making them a little bit stronger. And maybe those don't need to be quite so harsh. And I think I'll go ahead and draw in around the, the corner of the eye here. Push that area in just a bit. Get a little bit more detail to the eye. Okay, let's go ahead and disable our background images so that we can see this a little better here. And then I'm just gonna, using my uh, space navigator, I'm just going to kind of zoom around this a little bit, kind of try and get a better feeling of 
what we have. And I think that'll work pretty well. Uh, one little thing that you can you may notice is that as we're rotating around, sometimes the lighting feels a little weird. If you want to adjust the viewport lighting, you can go in here under your system panel of the user preferences and actually adjust the viewport light. So maybe in this case, I would like to get you know just a little bit more kind of soft lights all around. So I can just tweak this just. For one, you can actually tweak these in the in the view just to try and see different lighting angles and kind of see what you're getting. We don't want to do this too much. You can also use this to turn off specific lights if you want. That's maybe a little, little bit too much. You know, I don't want to tweak it all that much here. Okay, I think that helps show the forms just a little bit better, helps see our shadows and such. So I think that will work just fine. And of course, you know, you don't have to do that. Um, you can tweak it all you want if you want, but that's just one, one method to try and see some of your forms a little better. You know, I definitely encourage you when you're sculpting to try out different lighting environments, check, you know, check your model in all different shapes and such. Make sure that it is uh, looking good. You know, the, the default viewport lighting in Blender, while it's all right, it will not necessarily always give you the best impression of what your surfaces actually look like, you know, in particular with highlights and shadows, because then sculpting form and, you know, shape and such is everything. And all of those are accented by the highlights and shadows. And so by adjusting your lighting, uh, you can see all of the other highlights and shadows and such that maybe you weren't able to see with your previous lighting setup. So I definitely encourage you to do that. Uh, it will give you a, a fresh look on your model and see, you know, the, the strong suits on what you've done really well, maybe what needs a little bit more work and so on. So definitely, definitely something you should be doing. Okay, I think I'm gonna call that quits for now. I feel much better about the eyes where they are now than where they were. Um, maybe I'll do actually just a little bit more shaping on portions here. Uh, one thing actually I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring up my twist brush. The twist brush is pretty cool because it allows you to do this sort of thing. Um, now that's really weird and extreme in this case. So what I wanna do is just get a really soft twist brush. And that's maybe too soft. Way, way too soft. There we go. And I'm just going to basically adjust the angle of the eyes. Now, you will notice that the twist brush kind of behaves a little weird. It doesn't really seem to consistently twist as you're moving around. But you'll see what I've done there is I just twisted them a little bit to give them a slightly more um, inward and down angle. And what that gives me is, again, that same kind of more innocent look that we're after than what we previously had. I'm just going to push some of these areas back a little bit more. I'm much, much happier with the angle of the eyes and such, but I'm not a real big fan of the, um, the actual shape of the eyelid now. So I just want to go in and do some additional tweaking here, in particular getting you know the shape of the inner eye here. And I'm just using the clay brush at the moment.
Okay, I don't want to tweak this too much, but I feel a bit better about where it's at now than where we started. Okay, yeah, I think, okay, if there was a small interruption there, uh, apologies for that, my air conditioner popped on, and whenever it comes on, the the audio just, well, let's just say it picks up pretty strongly. So I paused the recording, and I may have forgotten where I, what I was doing exactly at the time, uh, but anyway, I think we're going to leave the sculpt here for, ooh, actually, hold on, just one moment, we're going to leave the sculpt here once I smooth that little bit out, a weird angle there. Okay, so we're gonna leave the sculpt right here for now. Uh, we could go higher, of course, but I think that this will be a really good point to now go in, particularly now that we have a much better eye shape. We're now going to go in and retopologize our mesh. And so I'm going to just boost up one more level in the sculpt view just so we can really see our final model. That looks pretty nice, I think. Uh, we can go ahead and set our shading to smooth. And I will save the file. And we are now going to actually stop this recording and I'm gonna jump into the next video to do the retopology.